We used to be giants When did we start? Just say the word and I'll be yours You know I never forgot Hello to everyone and you are welcome back with me here at Jason's Guitar School. In today's video what we're going to be doing is Giants by Dermot Kennedy. So let's get into it. Okay so there are a few different parts to this song but luckily enough there are only four chords. They may be in different orders and using different strumming patterns but once you know the four chords you will fly through the song. So the four chords are E minor C, G and D. If you know those chords skip ahead to where we get into the song and if not I'll quickly show you them now. We'll start with E minor. So E minor is the second box, five and four are the A and D string. Then we have C, which starts in the first box, B string. Second box, it's the D string or fourth string. And third box, fifth string or A string. Then we have G, which is the second box, fifth string or A string. And then in the third box, it's six and one or big E and little E. And then finally, we have our D chord. So D is second box, G and little E are three and one. And in the third box, it is the B string, the second string. So those are the four chords we're going to need. Now let's get into the song. So guys, for the start of this song, there is an intro chorus. It's two lines and it's fairly simple. Most of the chords just do half a beat, which is your down, down, up strumming pattern. And then the longer chords just do a down pause. So we're going to start off E minor, D, G, and then a big pause. E minor, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, G, down, pause. So that's the, we used to be giants. When did we, and then you come in on the strumming pattern for the next word, stop. So C, D, E minor. Down, down, up, D, down, up, E minor, pause. Then we're into the second line. So all of the chords are just half beat strumming patterns until we reach the end, where it's just one strum. So we start off in that E minor, E minor, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, C, down, down, up, G, down, down, up. And then we finish this line just like we finished the top line. C, D, and E minor one strum. C, down, down, up, D, down, up, E minor. So that's that we used to be giants. When did we stop? Just say the word and I'll be yours. You know I never forgot. And that is the intro chorus. Now every other chorus is the exact same as that, but instead of doing a down pause on some of those chords, you're just gonna do a full string pattern, which is down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's gonna be different between that chorus and every other chorus in the song. So that's the chorus, uh, the intro chorus finished. Let's go into the verse next. Right, the verse is just one line played over and over and over again for each line of the verse. Uh, there are two verses in this song and each verse is four lines. So we're gonna be playing this line four times for every verse. So four times for verse one, four times for verse two. It goes uh, E minor full strum pattern, D full strum pattern, C, D, both half strumming patterns, and then E minor full strumming pattern. So E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then C and D, very quick, down, down, up, down, down, up, and E minor full strumming, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you're playing this four times for the verse. E minor D, C D, E minor. Just like that. Okay, now it's time to go into the main chorus. Right guys, for the main chorus, it's the exact same as the intro chorus, except instead of doing a single strum and pause on some of those chords, we're going to do the full strumming down, down, up, up, down, up. So we have E minor, D, G, and G is doing the full strumming pattern. So E minor, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, and G, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then your next line, C, D, E minor, and E minor is doing the full strum. So C, down, up, D, down, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we're on to the next line. So every chord continuously strums, and then E minor does the full strumming at the end. So E minor, D, C, G, C, D, and E minor full strum. Down, down, up, up, down. And that's the, just say the word and I'll be yours. 
you know I never forgot. Easy as that. And you do that for every course, including the outro one, um, unless you want to slow it down. So at any time, you can change the strumming pattern from down, down, up, just to one strum. So if I was to change those um, strums, the full strumming pattern to just one strum, it would be, we used to be giants. When did it stop? Okay, so you can always slow it down, change the strumming like that. Once you keep the beats the same. So in this song, whenever you see it down, down, up, that's um, one beat. So you're going to be using a one beat chord there. So it's just one. And whenever we have the down, down, up, up, down, up, the full strumming, that's a two beat strumming pattern. So it has to take up two beats. So if I'm playing this and I start in uh, E minor, D, G, E minor is one, D is one, G is two. So I'm going one, two, three, four. And then same on the next line, C, D, E minor. So it's one, two, three, four. So C, one, D, two, E minor, three, four. Because that's your two beat. And then on the bottom line, they're all one beats until we hit the E minor at the end. So it goes E minor, D, C, G, C, D, E minor, pause. So that's the timing of it. And the strums that I've put in are just to fill up the pause. That's what rhythm guitar is, just filling up the uh, silences with continuous strumming. So usually for a one beat chord, it's down, down, up. And then for... Um, pop song like this it's down and up up down up is a strum pattern that does suit the longer chords the two beats so we are finished the main course there let's get into the bridge of the song now right so the bridge is a little different it's d d g g and then four d's running through and each chord is a full strumming pattern so it's d down down up up down up down down up up down up and then g down down up up down up down down up up down up and then four d's And that whole section is repeated again. So D two times, G two times. And then four Ds on the bottom line. Okay. But on the very last time, so after you play the bridge twice and you're on the very, very last D, I don't do the full strumming on the very last D, I do one strum. So on the bottom one, instead of doing four Ds, I do three full Ds. One, two, three, four. On the fourth, I do one strum pause, and then it brings me back into that we used to be giants. And I do the first chorus. So I don't do the main chorus where every chord does the full strumming. I do the intro chorus where that first G does one strum. It just creates a bit of silence so you can enter this chorus a little quiet, and then blast out for the second course. So that course is repeated twice at the end. I do the intro course first and then the main course second. Um, but again, that's just a preference of mine. The main song, it doesn't matter once you're following the beats. So the, core, the song goes intro chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, uh, chorus, outro. And that is it. So I've shown you all the parts up here beside me. Um, all you have to do is put it in order with the lyrics and follow along. So guys, I hope today was useful for you. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Keep those comments coming in with more requests. And as always, I'll see you next time.